Barbara killed Kai's mother, framed Gloria Bautista's husband, and made it look like a suicide. Yeah, exactly. But why did he kill Kai's mother in the first place? She figured out he was framing people. That's how he bats a thousand, huh? You make up a crime and you blame it on somebody else. That's why Ocampo was going through all of his past cases. He's always known something stinks. The professor saw a picture of the ring and he pieced it together. Rabara had to take him out and he would have gone public with it. But the only problem with that is you create another loose end. But if he cleans that up, then he's in the clear forever. But that means you have to get another person to take the fall for three murders. Kai. Yeah, he's going to frame her. And he's going to kill her. He's gonna make it look like a suicide. Why would Kai kill herself? Guilt over her mother, you know? I mean, it's a believable story. She kills the professor to keep him from exposing her. An old friend comes into town kicking up all these feelings of remorse. Everybody's seen her acting strange, so she ends it all alone. And the only place that she can't escape. That's perfect, except for one thing. She's not alone. Why me? You are my friend. You are my family. Why would you do this? Because he killed your mother. And he's going to frame you for it, too. No. No one would ever believe I would do that. Everybody knew you hated her. I didn't hate her. Maybe you don't now, but I was there. Remember? You made her life miserable. If I hadn't killed her, you would have. Kai. Don't. <laughs> Kai put the gun down. When I was 15, he told me he would give me justice. No, he can't. Yeah, but that isn't you. You're not a murderer. Well, maybe I am. I don't know anymore. You have no idea what it's like to be stabbed in the back by the one person you trust. Yeah, I do. And betrayal eats you alive. But you can recover, you pull that trigger, and there is no coming back. And you can trust me on that, you become someone else. Yeah? Who is that? Me. Look, I've made bad choices, bad decisions. I've let people down that cared about me, that depended on me, but that is not you. Right? And you know that. Ernesto, and I know that. Your mother knows that. So please, huh? Put the gun down. Let's lock this guy up and throw away the key. What do you say? You have the right to remain silent. Why doesn't this feel like a victory? Maybe a victory somewhere else. <laughs> Wish you could have seen this island before all the developments. I did. It was a special place. It still is a special place. Even under all the mega resorts and the nightclubs, the memes. Memes a thing, not a place. Man, no wonder no one will drive me there. Speaking of which, how about giving me a ride to my apartment? How about I call you a cab? Call me a cab? Yeah. After I talked you off a ledge. You'd be a murderer right now if it wasn't for me, huh? Let me explain to you something about human interaction, okay? When someone gets you out of the electric chair, you're obligated to give them a ride wherever they want to go. Well, I need money. Why don't you just buy a car? Because I can't afford a car, okay? I'm the rubbing attorneys, remember? You own a gift shop, Alex. Yeah, well, come and buy something, Kai. I got snow globes, man. <laughs>